And we have to do our competition se section now. <laughs> he looks pretty comfortable, right? <laughs> I'm not wearing underwear. <laughs> Alright guys, well, we have now come to the portion of our show in which all of our contestants have to make up a song. Now, if you have ever been here before or you've watched our show before, you know that at the end of every episode of Folked Up, everybody has to make up a song about a topic of our choice. This time the topic is going to be Valentine's Day. So you have to write a song about Valentine's Day. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to... No. Yeah, you have to write a song about Valentine's Day. Oh, I like the heart <laughs> back there. Um, you have to write a song about Valentine's Day, but you don't win the competition by writing a great song about Valentine's Day. You win the competition by following an extremely arbitrary mystery rule that uh, I come up with before the show starts. Um, so everybody who's played tonight, you guys have to close your eyes. Close your, yeah, don't look. Critique. Yeah, okay. Now, every, everybody else in the audience, this is the mystery rule. Can we get a camera on this? Yeah? Does, does everybody see this? Everybody except for the people who aren't supposed to see this? They're not seeing this? Okay. <laughs> Now, if you, you guys can look again. Now, if you can figure out what the mystery rule is, then you can win this amazing certificate of authenticity nice. that certifies that you wrote a song that followed the mystery rule. We've got another. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to write a song about Valentine's Day. Let's pick a chord here. <laughs> Well, I was lonely until I met my true love On the first episode of Folked Up on CCTV And then we were together forever, but it, not quite forever, maybe just for one year Because now it's the first anniversary of Folked Up on CCTV we love CCTV, we go there all the time In fact, every month we go to Folked Up on CCTV We've only been on 12 dates so far, but she's the one for me You know that it's 12 dates, cause this is the first anniversary of Folked Up on CCTV I met my true love, watching idiots with guitars singing songs and we also saw a woman once named Mars she was also pretty good at guitar I think she'll go pretty far but I don't think she's ever dated anybody with the same name as my lover because my lover's name is Lars and I don't know what else I'm gonna rhyme here but it's Valentine's Day the first anniversary of CCTV Folked Up And I got her a lovely Valentine's Day bear Named Barry But then he went through all the nips in our liquor cabinet Alright, thanks guys yeah. <laughs> Alright, first up in the competition we've got Pratik Padar So on a scale of 1 to 10, how much am I overthinking this? <laughs> Probably 10. <laughs> Generally, that's the answer. Yup. <laughs> it's usually what happens when you have anxiety. Aww. Don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yes, of course, I'm stalling. <laughs> Also, these are new strings. What do you want from me? <laughs> new strings for a new song. <laughs> this song is very short. <laughs> Class for Pratik, who just disqualified himself in such unbelievable style. <laughs> All right, next up we got the skirts. That was awesome. I'm, oh, I don't think that through at all. Yes, power move. <laughs> Valentine's Day? Okay. You pick the feel because you're the drummer, so give us a beat. about time but now we're we're doing fine. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. He's just not happy. Barry's with my just gonna wake up with a black eye tomorrow. He, he went through a lot of this. Uh, I have two picks. That was my thing. That's I'm like really hoping the string doesn't break on me. Right. If it song. breaks, it's part of the song. Part yeah. of the song. That should be a rule sometime. You have to break a string. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <coughs> That's still not in tune. What is wrong with this guitar? I need to live up to the high standards of CCTV guys. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, sure, uh, I'm not gonna be able to sing in that key. Do you ever wonder why so many people are born in November? <laughs> When I remembered that nine months before November is Valentine's Day, and they boned and they boned and they boned and they boned on Valentine's Day. <laughs> While watching CTV. Parents bone on Valentine's Day, and your grandparents bone on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Caleb may have boned on Valentine's Day if maybe he's spending on porn up. I don't know him that well. <laughs> I should get to know him better before I say this on TV. <laughs> but I just did, so take that. Fuck it. Sorry. <laughs> 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 
Talking about my masturbating habits. Well, I, did that count? Did that? I don't know. So the rule was that you have to reference the first anniversary of Folked Up on CCTV. I don't think that did count because you didn't reference the anniversary. If you had been like they boned on Valentine's Day and it was the first episode of CCTV ever, or like they watched the first episode of Folked Up on CCTV on Pornhub. <laughs> but so this is actually the first. This is the first time that nobody's won. What do, what do we do? <laughs> Rip it up, the bear wins. Yeah, the the bear wins. What's this bear gonna do with a certificate of authenticity? <laughs> there should be a certificate of authenticity for the bear. Well, I I give it to everyone when they all win. Rip it into pieces and give it to everyone. Okay, you know what? We're, we'll do. The audience wins today. We're gonna do confetti. There goes my guitar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Can so, does somebody want to come up and talk on this mic while I tear this thing up? Because I feel weird just like standing here. It's confetti. Really you want me to tell jokes? Yeah, tell jokes. Come on, come on up. Let's have another round of applause for Mark McDonald. Actually, you guys all come up. Everybody who played, come up on stage. Have you heard the joke about the cookie? What's the joke about the cookie? Uh, it was crummy. Oh, oh, crummy joke. Oh, Oof. <laughs> Our producer Peter Levine didn't like it. He's just trying to tell me <laughs> trying to tell me this is taking too long. But we still have four minutes left on the clock, Peter. <laughs> How are you guys gonna fill up the time at like twelve o'clock at night on like a Sunday on Cambridge Community Television if you don't have an hour and a half of programming? <laughs> Uh, he's, he's, I don't know if anybody could hear that. He said he was bored. <laughs> All right, we almost have confetti. Do you guys have anything to say to Barry the Bear? What? No, you guys. Very nice. Yeah, it's your chance. He's like obviously passed out. So. I hope he gets the help he needs. I hope yeah. he gets the help he needs too. But it doesn't look like that's in the cards yeah. today. Party on, Barry. Party on. Mark is Mark. a man after my own heart. <laughs> Somebody needs to go to Al Anon. Yeah, oh man. Poor Barry. Sorry this takes so long. This is like, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, CCTV, for having us. Thank you, our producer, Peter Levine. Thank you, Josh, for being our director. Thanks, everybody in the studio audience. Thank you, Skirts. Thank you, Pratik. Thank you, other Skirt. <laughs> and let's all have a great Valentine's Day! Yeah. Yeah.